Throwing out a flutterboard, bud? What's that? Throwing out a flutterboard? Bill and I were trying to decide last night if we're friends. <laughs> I, we're not. How's Lionel feeling going into this weekend? I think he feels good. He's trying to not uh, over swim. He, he's been swimming really long yardage and uh, tries not to go over 20,000 a week. And uh, some of these workouts have gone now up to like six and 7,000. So two workouts in and we're like, whoa, we're close to the week. So we're just trying to keep the yardage down right now because he still wants to swim leading into the reps, you know? But, uh, yeah, he's feeling good, I think. Excited to race the Frenchman. <laughs> Ready? How was your swim set? Good, just a nice easy recovery swim. A couple of little intensity pieces. You getting nervous yet? Uh, I'm not nervous. Why would I be nervous? I mean, I literally am gonna be so reckless, the most reckless I've ever raced, ever. This will be the most reckless 70.3 I ever do. I'm gonna race it as if there was no run. Absolutely one hour TT. The moment my feet hit the bike, there's no concern for nothing. Complete blow up, don't care. Zero, all out. And I'm excited for it. I, I'm not afraid. I'm excited for it. Would you be nervous if Cam Worth was there? No. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing right now? Riding a bicycle. In a hard pace or easy pace? Uh, this is uh, about 250 watts, so fairly easy. You think you could ride like this pace all day? Well, my heart rate's about 100, so so yes, 99 average. So yes. Would you do ever do an Ultra Ironman? What's an Ultra Ironman? Uh, a longer Ironman. What's like it a called? double Ironman? A what? Like a double Ironman? No, the, 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 the Ultraman race. Ultramax, whatever it's called. Oh, yes. For sure. Is Are that you... race happening this year? I would guess not. Usually it would be about now. Yeah. Not too bad. I'd have went and done that one for sure. Really? For sure. In Hawaii? Well, I wanted to do a, a 50 miler anyway. Might as well do it in Hawaii, right? I think it's swim like four miles or something. No, more. It's a 10K swim, I think. I swam six today, so I'm almost there. The prep is in full force. You said it's 275 kilometers? Yeah. Well, I mean 180 isn't that difficult. <laughs> if you were if you were done at the end, I mean 200k would be just a nice easy long ride, so if you had the right attitude, it's really long. Just enjoy it. Have fun. That's what I would do.
Certainly could make it through 30 of those miles. Pretty good. Fresh. Fresh in the sense that you got to have a dinner, go to bed, <laughs> not ride as hard as you can for four hours before. I'm gonna go for that one for sure. I don't think you can do, I think you gotta do a race first to get invited to Hawaii. Bob told me you can get me in. Because <laughs> I was gonna do it like in the uh, pandemic. Oh yeah. I thought about doing that, but then, uh, then Daytona came back on, right? Mm. Yeah. Under the schedule. And I did my uh, one hour thing. If you have to film me, I like to eat chips with my mouth open. Are you a festive person? Someone in this house is, that's for sure. You like Christmas? I love Christmas. Do you like long car rides? I hate long car rides, but five hours is a pretty short car ride. So, I don't mind that. Who are you the most looking forward to racing this weekend? Yellow Geens? Or Vincent? Um, I think I'm most looking forward to racing my old training partner, Ari Klaus, to be honest with you. He's coming. He's coming. I'm we, excited. Are we going to get him on the race week series? Hopefully. Yeah, I'm excited to test myself, obviously, against... Uh, to top ITU competitors, you know, <clears throat> um, I think their training probably transfers better to 70.3 than pure Ironman training. I've had two weeks to get back into shape and I'm in okay shape, you know, I think that the Ironman stuff that I'm doing right might pay dividends even though i don't have a ton of speed but we'll see you know we'll see if these guys got like crazy next level speed i raced gustav before so i kind of know where he's at vincent louis was there he got a penalty uh he probably would have been neck and neck with Gustav, had he not got the penalty. So we know that he's about as, at least as good as Gustav was <clears throat> in Daytona. One would think that he's had quite a bit of time to focus on this, so he should be better than he would be have been in Daytona. I don't know what the dynamics were in that race at the front. This, I don't believe there'll be much firepower here at the front on the bike. Daytona certainly had firepower. So it'll be interesting to see who wants to do the work, huh?